Hello, and thanks for your interest in the NCU School of Biological Sciences. My name is Melissa Fullwood, and I'm the Associate Chair for Students. Today, I will be sharing with you the unique aspects of our school and the programs and initiatives that we offer. Some of you may ask, why study biology? Well, biology is the study of all living things, and it is key to help us to become more sustainable, to fight climate change, and to lead long and healthy lives. Biology is a quest for understanding where you use quantitative and analytical reasoning, modeling, and problem solving to understand the inner workings of living things. Studying biology will also allow you to acquire basic transferable skills that are useful in many different professions, not just in science. But why biology at SBS? Well, we help to ground your fundamentals with a fixed core while giving you the flexibility to pick electives of your interests. Our internships, exchange, and alumni sharing will help you to prepare for the job market by exposing you to valuable experiences as well as strengthening your network. We also recognize the importance of data science to prepare you for the future. Let me tell you more about this. Our main program is a four-year direct honours degree in biological sciences. In 2024, we will also launch the single major in Chinese medicine. This four-year degree program focuses on Chinese medicine as well as basic Western medicine knowledge with the intention to produce Singapore-trained Chinese medicine professionals with an in-depth knowledge of regional or local diseases. We also have a number of second and double major programs, which will allow you to focus specifically on the topics that you're interested in. The main difference between the second and the double majors uh, is the number of academic units that you will have to clear. The second major only takes up about 30% of the total academic units, while double major programs have equal weightage on both majors. Zooming into our second majors, we have one in medicinal chemistry and pharmacology, allowing you to take a number of chemistry courses in the School of Chemistry, Chemical Engineering and Biotechnology, or CCEB. And this will train you in a wide variety of areas that are related to medicinal chemistry and pharmacology. It prepares you for careers and research and development in a variety of, so of sectors associated with things such as drug and vaccine development, and more. Next is our second major in biomedical structural biology, which focuses on the structural basis of things like drug discovery and design, as well as that of vaccine design and protein engineering. This too prepares you for careers in research and development, as well as biomedical startups, pharmaceutical companies, and so on. Another second major that we have is food science and technology, which will train you in food science, processing and engineering, thus allowing you to pursue jobs in food-related industries. We partner with the Wadeningen University in the Netherlands, which is very well known for its food sciences program. The second major in data analytics gives you an interdisciplinary uh, training which will allow you to have a foundation in mathematics, statistics, so algorithms, as well as data mining, visualization, and management. It also allows students to pick electives across different schools in the, co school, in the College of Science, as well as the College of Engineering here at NTU. This program will enable you to analyze big data in biology to gain a systems understanding of biology and it is very popular. The second major in entrepreneurship aims to equip you with the fundamental entrepreneurship competency and broaden your understanding in enterprise as well as innovation. Hands-on experience in technopreneurship through an experiential learning approach as well as a 20-week overseas or local internship are some of the exciting components of this program. The second major in sustainability 
will incorporate relevant courses across all four colleges to provide students with the foundation and practical tools for understanding the concepts of sustainability and applying them to the real world scenarios. The curriculum will be structured according to three traditional pairs of sustainability, namely society, environment, and economy. By understanding how our environment, economy, and society interact, applying this to technological innovation and communicating readily with decision makers, we can maintain the health of our world for the benefit of current and future generations. We also have double major programs. As I mentioned before, the double major programs have equal weightage and they cover two, dis two different disciplines, one related to biological sciences and the other um, a, di a different discipline from biological sciences. For example, psychology is from the humanities discipline and biobusiness is from the business discipline. All programs require you to complete an internship in your third year with the final year project in the fourth year as an option. However, for the double major program, the final year project is compulsory. In these two programs, we are not only looking at your academic achievements, but also your attitude, relevant experiences, and passion for these subjects. Since the majors are of equal weightage, we have to make sure that you are able to cope with the workload as well. Therefore, you will need to go through interviews for us to assess whether you are the right match for this program. For the two double major programs, you also have the option to apply for the NTU Duke and US Medicine pathway, which is suitable for stud students who are aspiring to be clinicians with additional opportunities in bio business or psychology. I should note that not every student who applies for the NTU Duke and US Medicine pathway uh, will be able to get into that pathway and the requirement is that there will be a separate interview that is conducted for this pathway. Upon your um, acceptance of either the Biomedical Sciences and Psychology double major or the Biomedical Sciences and Biobusiness double major. I should also add that even if you do not manage to get into um, the Duke NUS um, uh, NTU medicine pathway, this does not mean that you have no hope at all of ever getting into Duke and US. You are still able to apply at the end of your four years to um, Duke and US, just as any other, um, just as any other student would. So for the um, biological sciences and psychology double major, this is in partnership with the NTU School of Humanities Division of Psychology. And this studies the brain through two tracks, neurology as well as psychology. As for the bio business major, it is different from regular business studies, although the general business principles do apply. Bio business is more specific to the healthcare industry as it covers topics such as bio entrepreneurship and regulation, whereas business as a minor covers topics such as accounting and marketing. For this, we work together with the Copenhagen Business School in Denmark, which is where you will spend your year four semester one. This is not an exchange, but part of the curriculum. We all know how important data science is in the world today. So on top of the second major in data analytics program, our biological sciences curriculum is designed with digital computational and statistical literacy in mind. You will gain invaluable knowledge and skills in programming, allowing you to pursue topics in machine learning as well as artificial intelligence. This will hone your analytical skills and allow you to work with big data, which is becoming very important in many aspects of biology as well as other disciplines. Thus, you will pick up many core skills such as scientific knowledge, lab and research skills, and communication and business skills too. SBS has a unique outcomes-based teaching and learning approach. OBTL is a way of teaching where we clearly identify what we would like you to learn from the start and we frame everything about the course and the curriculum to meet these goals. We communicate with you very clearly about the course goals and requirements, and we provide constant feedback to help you achieve your aims. 
In addition to OBTL, we frequently use cutting edge approaches to teaching, which involves things like flipped classrooms, smart classrooms, as well as blended learning. During vacation breaks, we hold one week intensive small class workshops known as the Undergrad Advanced Experimental Biology or UAEB program that are exclusive to students from SBS. This initiative gives you an exciting taste of hands-on research and is a unique opportunity to advance your skill sets in specific areas of biology. We also have internships that you experience in your third year. We partner with many different places across Singapore and around the world that allow you to have this internship experience in a wide variety of workplaces and research institutions. This will allow you to focus on your interests and career goals to help you find the best internship match and prepare you for the internship. We have an entire office here at NTU to help get you started. In addition, we offer exchange programs where we partner with over 150 universities around the world so that you can tailor your program of study. You can go to places that you've always wanted to go, study with new people in new parts of the world, and gain some new and memorable experiences. You will also have the option to take a minor in any discipline that you're interested in together with your degree in biological sciences. However, do note that um, this minor is something that you would only be able to do if you're doing our standard degree in biological sciences. If you are doing a double major, that is already considered a very high workload and thus you usually do not have sufficient time um, in your curriculum uh, in order to take an additional minor on top of doing a double major. Finally, if you're interested in biological sciences but do not want a degree in biology, we offer non-SBS students a minor in life sciences. Thus, at SBS, you have many opportunities to tailor your education to your needs. These are just a few examples of the companies that our, intern that our students have had their internships at. And as you can see, there are many choices ranging from career to plant science. And we have students doing uh, research internships. We also have students who do internships in, um, in teaching policy, as well as that of uh, sales and marketing. Uh, in other words, they get to explore a very wide uh, variety of different careers, depending on what their interests are. Here are some of our alumni and their internship workplaces. As you can see, the internships take place in industry, hospitals, as well as research institutes, both in Singapore as well as abroad. Shiva over here took up an industrial intern in business development and open innovation, where he learned to work as a member of a multidisciplinary team of researchers. Here we have Hashma, who was a food microbiologist intern at the NF at the NCFS. Next, we have international exchange opportunities, which you can choose to do in year three or year four. This will enable you to experience other cultures and make new friends overseas. Here you can read more about Pit Elings, about Pit Elings, an international exchange in South Korea. Finally, we have here Rachel, who did her exchange in Sweden and her final year project overseas at Harvard. At the School of Biological Sciences, we have nine research focuses. You can read more about each focus and the labs working on these focuses um, by coming to our uh, website, um, as well as by uh, scanning uh, the QR code on the top right to find out more information. The faculty members, also known as the profs in our school, 
are leaders in their field of research and are from all over the world, UK, US, China, Poland, Korea, uh, Singapore, of course, and more. Our professors are working on a wide variety of topics ranging from viruses, plants and animals, and you will have several topics to work in their labs through internships, attachments and final year projects. I myself am also a faculty member in the School of Biological Sciences. I am from Singapore and my research is about 3D genome organization in cancer. And indeed, I do have a number of students who are working in my lab and in doing um, their final year attachments uh, with me. The career paths that our undergraduates can take are wide and range from healthcare, biomedical and pharmaceutical research, education, to data, research, business, entrepreneurship, and more. Next slides showcase the different paths uh, in terms of their career, as well as workplaces of our alumni. For example, um, there are healthcare institutions, as well as biomedical and pharmaceutical companies. There are also interns who are in the public sector and who have started their own businesses. We also have alumni in banking, postgraduate studies, as well as many additional careers. Here is the result of the graduate employment survey, the most recent one that we have, uh, which is from 2022. Employed refers to graduates working on a full-time, permanent, part-time, temporary, or freelance basis. Full-time permanent employment refers to employment of at least 35 hours a week and where employment is not temporary. It includes those who are on contracts of one year or more. As you can see, we have a very high proportion of graduates who, were, who are either um, employed or in full-time employment. There are indeed some students who are not uh, employed, and we believe some of these uh, might be preparing for career for uh, further uh, postgraduate studies, and hence they did not uh, choose the box that said that they are employed. We hold alumni sharings for undergraduates to network and learn more from alumni about their careers. This gives you ample opportunities to strengthen your network, learn from the experiences of our alumni, and better understand what kinds of jobs are available for you. Here is Dr. Ku Chi Wai, one of our alumni who graduated in the class of 2009 as our third batch of undergraduates. Now in 2022, he is now a senior resident at Sing Health under the OBGYN residency program. Here are some more examples of the different career paths of our alumni. Mr. Chao Qingping is a managing director at Gene Data, one of the leading software companies in data analytics in life sciences. Mr. Fan Vin, Mr. Fa Vin Dip is a senior scientist in microscopy lead in nanoimaging, which is a premier industry provider in microscopy. Glendon, uh, who graduated in 2015, is now a teacher at Tamasic Junior College. Here are some of our more recent alumni. Irene followed her passion in forensic science and is now a senior crime scene specialist working at the HTX. Marco is now a medical student in Duke and US Medical School. He holds a degree in biological sciences with a second major in medicinal chemistry and pharmacology. As shared previously, the double major programs in our school give you a double, greater advantage to enroll in the Duke and US uh, Medical School. So if you do well and you're passionate about medicine, medical uh, studies are indeed an option for you. Zhe Xing Kong became a management consultant. SBS has helped him hone his problem-solving skills and now he is helping clients to solve their problems. 
And in recent news, Dr. Albert Zhang, who's from our pioneer batch of the double degree program in biomedical sciences and Chinese medicine, founded AI Treat in 2015. AI Treat designs and integrates assistive medical robots to assist robots to provide advanced massage to patients. Lastly, life in SBS is not just all about studying. We have a student-run club called the Biological Sciences Club that organizes a wide variety of fun events. In addition, you can join the SBS Biohackathon to hone your programming and data analytics skills while working on your project of your own design. We also have an SBS Sports Day if you're interested in sports. Recently, we have established our very own house system called Clades. There are a total of four clades in SBS, each one consisting of undergrads from different programs at SBS. Each clade is managed by a student clade leader to help you further enhance your experience here and expand your network. Should you face any challenges in school or your life, we have a team of dedicated faculty and staff for you to reach out to. Our student support team and faculty super mentors are here to aid you if you face any academic, financial, or mental well-being challenges. All right, so thank you very much for joining us today. We are really excited about our program and hope that you are too. Please feel free to reach out to us or connect via our social media platforms. We hope to see you soon. Thank you very much.